A memorable riverside picnic with the family It was a sunny and bright Saturday morning. The Smith family decided it was the perfect day for a picnic by the river. Mr. Smith, a tall man with a cheerful smile, had often told stories of his childhood picnics. Mrs. Smith, with her kind eyes and warm heart, loved the idea of creating such memories for their children, Anna and Tom. The children were ecstatic. Anna, a curious 10-year-old, had been wanting to try out her new picnic blanket, a birthday gift from her grandmother. Tom, a seven-year-old nature enthusiast, couldn't wait to explore the riverside creatures. After a hearty breakfast, the family began packing their picnic basket. Mrs. Smith prepared some sandwiches, fruit salad, and lemonade. Mr. Smith took charge of the snacks, chips, cookies, and a chocolate cake. Tom added his magnifying glass and a small jar for collecting interesting specimens. Anna slipped in her sketchbook and colored pencils. Once they reached the riverbank, the family was greeted by the serene sound of flowing water. Tall trees provided ample shade, and the air smelled fresh. Tom immediately spotted a group of tadpoles swimming around and gently scooped up a few in his jar, promising to return them to their home before leaving. Anna found a spot where the flowers grew abundantly and started sketching. Every stroke of her pencil captured the beauty of nature. The yellow daisies, the pink roses, and the fluttering butterflies made her page come alive. Meanwhile, Mrs. Smith spread out the picnic blanket, and the family enjoyed their meal. The sandwiches tasted better in the fresh air, and the lemonade was exceptionally refreshing. As they ate, Mr. Smith began sharing a story about the river's history. He spoke of a time when it was the main water source for the town and how people would come from all around to collect water fish, or just enjoy its beauty. The children listened intently, absorbing the tales of the past. After their meal, the family played some games. They tossed a frisbee around, played catch, and even tried skimming stones on the river's surface. Anna and Tom competed to see who could get their stone to skip the most times. As the sun began to set, the family packed up their belongings. Tom carefully returned the tadpoles to the river, and Anna showed her sketches to everyone, receiving praise for her artistic skills. On their way home, the car was filled with the sounds of laughter and stories of the day's adventures. The Riverside Picnic was not just about food and games. It was about bonding, learning about nature, and appreciating the beauty around them. The Smiths knew they had created a memory that would be cherished for a lifetime. The story is over. Thanks for watching.